Hey guys, welcome back to Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. Check this video out with Barbara. I'm going to mess up her last name. Corcoran? Cor All right, we'll get back with you guys. I don't invest in rich kids, which isn't really true, but almost true, uh, because rich kids on Shark Tank come with a couple of attributes that disturb me. Uh, they've had the right jobs because they had the right contacts. So they had the right apprenticeships in different right companies in their summer months when they're teenagers. You know, they get the right introductions, okay? Uh, poor kids are usually waiting tables and scrapping, dealing with customers, spilling coffee, and getting shouted at. A little different. Rich kids, the ones I see on Shark Tank, typically have gone to the finest schools. And what comes with going with the, to the finest schools, especially business schools, um, what comes is a certain attitude that they know it. That's a dangerous attribute to have in anything when you're starting out in anything. But what they do know is they know all about business as an observer, but they don't know business as a player. Whereas poor kids tend to have had hardship. They've had to be a player earlier. They've had to contribute to the family. They've seen their parents struggle. They know the power of a buck. And then the last is an injured poor kid is for me a guarantee that I'm gonna make money if he's got the ego to prove somebody else wrong. Love of money doesn't make a good entrepreneur. Most great entrepreneurs really aren't focused on the money at all. It kind of just happens because they're focused on being phenomenally successful. Sorry people, he don't know. He don't even watch TV. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> man all right kirby so um yeah i like this video um it was one i think that was relatable probably for you too um but i can see her point in the different types of attitudes between rich kids and poor kids um especially someone who went to private school met a lot of rich kids um i can definitely see a difference and understand what she's stating yeah, um, I, I can see why she chooses to invest with who she chooses to invest with. And like she said, I me, I'd rather be around people that's doing the, I mean, that actually is doing the work. I mean, like, if you think about it, just really think about it. Think about most of the scams, especially in the crypto space, especially in the, in the, um, the biotech space. It was from people who knew the lingo, who went to those business schools and knew the lingo. And that's how they was able to kind people out of it because they went straight from, and I'm not saying it's not possible to go straight from, from college to being a big tech, I mean, you know, running the tech firm. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if you realize, most of the people who who have these scams going, it's not somebody who who have it, you know, as you know, they say in the hood, get it from the gutter, you know, take it off the muscle. It ain't people in the inner city that's doing this. It's people that went to Ivy League schools, um, and they didn't have the fortitude to go do it themselves. So they figured the best way is to scam people out of it by sounding like they know what they was doing. I mean, you know me, that's well, sounding like you know what you're doing and not doing what, you, what you're what saying. You know, that's a pet peeve of mine. But I understand why she don't like, I don't want to, I don't want to say she don't like, but what I'm saying is I understand why she chooses who she chooses to do business with. But I'll let you go, and then I'll come back after I get my thoughts together. Yeah, I I can see her points too. Um, I mean, I personally don't have the experience of actually like in, ever investing in someone in their company, like a startup or nothing. Um, but I can see her point as far as rich kids um, tend to have all the right placements, and as she said, they are knowledgeable on business, and that's not. Uh, you know, there's no doubt in that. But as she stated, like as an observer, um, whereas she said, uh, you know, poor kids, um, the I think the biggest point she made on poor kids is they have a attitude where they want to prove it to someone who's been telling them they can't their whole lives. So they're determined to um, to actually accomplish their goal. 
in in this case in their business um i can definitely see from just experience from knowing i guess both sides um where rich kids may have that kind of default mechanism where they're where they know that if their plan doesn't work out they can resort to the family business in most cases they they already have um you know a family business that's already operating and they can fall back on that and assume um ownership in many scenarios so i i can see her point and where maybe if if you are investing in someone you want to see the attributes where they are a go-getter as you said you want to see someone doing the work and not going to just assume that it just it's going to be taken care of and get lazy with it uh because as we both know it's easier to and as we state it's easier to buy money than create money and so if you're going to create money then you really have to put in all the work yeah and and what and what i believe barbara's saying is and I believe Barbara saying, and she didn't say this, her worst deals was done with people with Ivy League education, people that have rich parents. That's where her worst deals was done. Because what she's saying is, yeah, those rich kids know business because they went to these business schools, but they only know it on paper. They don't know it by going through it. And that's and that's what she's trying to point out. And now I've got my thoughts together, but that's what she's trying to point out. She's trying to point out that these people, they might have went to these Ivy League schools, they might go to these business schools, and they know what they say, what's going on in business because they went to the school. But they have never put pen and paper, foot to ground, and walked the walk the walk. This you remember we have a story when I say, uh, my kids won't ever be able to say they came from, you know, they started from the bottom, now they're here. So they so if somebody came to them that started from the inner city neighborhood, they couldn't go say, Hey, well, I'll tell you my story. This is how you do it step by step. That's how I did it. Because they won't have that story. And that's the same thing she's saying about uh most wealthy wealthy kids, the kids that came from wealthy families, is they can tell you somebody else's story, they can tell you what a Vandenberg did, they can tell you what their father did, they can tell you whatever, but they could never tell you. How how to do it from self reflection or self experience, and and I I understand that. I mean, for me, it's for me. I'm not gonna say everybody that came from a wealthy family they bad or good. I'm not gonna say that. I mean, it's it's strategic places. Uh, you want everybody within a, within a business, but again, it depends on what Barbara's you know. Investing in what the business is. If it's a cupcake business, do you really need uh, somebody with Ivy League education? I'm not saying that's what she invested in, but I'm just saying. But if it's a, uh, but if it's a, you know, some big tech startup, do you probably need somebody in accounting? Do you probably need somebody with the every uh, Ivy League education? You know, in law, looking over, looking over stuff, maybe. But that's why I say I, I think it's believed in bits and pieces. But I one hundred percent wholeheartedly agree with her that the drive, the drive that's in that comes from wealthy families is not the same drive from somebody that's come from the inner city or a poor family. Because, like you said, if it all else fails for them, they can fall back on family's money. You know, those poor kids. If all else fell for them, they might be dead. So it's a whole different, whole different atmosphere there. So I'll end it up. I'll end it right there. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, uh, share, let us know what your opinion is. Uh, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.